All right, hello, welcome. Uh, <clears throat> today we'll be taking a look at Children of Denial, Immortal Cities. Uh, Immortal Cities is a DLC, I think. It doesn't really change much. Uh, nevertheless, we'll be taking a look at this game just to show you uh, what the city building genre has become after its golden age. Uh, this is certainly not uh, one of my favorite games. <clears throat> it's really, really bad. Hey, Kerry. Uh, clearly not. People need to see. Uh, people need to see what else is out there. And as I wrote in Discord, there are far, far worse things in the deep dark places of the city building genre than Caesar. And this is one of them. Okay. Uh, start a new dynasty. We'll play a campaign. A grand campaign. Right. And we need to choose a mission. I suck at this game for the most part and I think after we beat the first one if that happens we'll be going for the other ones so we'll start with the simple one Nekan build a grand capital and proclaim your magnificence to all so it's about building stuff no military I don't think but there aren't any like like there aren't too many raw resources around because in this game if you want to construct monuments you will also need to mine things but it's not as simple as in Caesar. Let's open this mission. Egypt is vast and powerful beyond the imaginings of our ancestors. Now this great nation needs a grand city to serve as its capital and attest to your glory. This fertile region of the Nile is an ideal location for a great city hey, Frank. with ample resources and a vast <laughs> floodplain. Yeah. The perfect soil in which to grow your capital. It's kind of light though. Thrives, I don't think I would do sure well on very challenging map your new right city. now. There you will find the luxuries, resources, and we're gonna have to play that during the daytime. Fortunate citizens to praise your name with every breath. Build Egypt's new capital for the glory of Horus, for the glory of Pharaoh. Okay, so objectives maintain a noble populace with at least six of their estates enhanced to luxury level and maintain 60 prestige. Right. Uh, what just happened? Oh no. I think the window got bugged. Just give me a sec. Oh, <laughs> I can't even switch it now. Okay, let me just go back to the menu. This game is. Uh, clearly disagreeing with uh, it being played. Let me just adjust the settings. Gonna be picking this. Yeah, this is better, but I'm st Oh. This is like ages old, say. Oh no. <laughs> Gonna have to do the campaign all over again. Uh, easy. Alright. Egypt. Proceed. Can always play the glorious successor to Children of the Nile, Caesar 4. <laughs> yeah. I think Caesar 4 is actually a uh, later thing. But no, we will be playing this thing. Of all the things we could play, all the nice things that are out there, we will be playing this. Also, the window just got fucked again. <laughs> no. Uh. Please bear with me. I'm gonna have to adjust everything again. It doesn't even want me to click it. Can I click it? It's all messed up. You can see it highlights right here, but it really shouldn't. This is straight up. It's already refusing to be played. I think it's a sign, but I'm not gonna do device thing and do something else with my life instead you'll go and play this. Uh, yes, I insist. And yeah, this looks better. Just need to do, do a new campaign. Egypt is 
Are we good? I think we are good. I just need to make sure you can actually have it fit the screen. Uh, <laughs> I grabbed it and it instantly and it instantly became something else. Uh, okay. It's gonna be fine. I just need to load it up again. This is like you click on the window and it suddenly becomes everywhere and you cannot click on anything because the buttons don't correspond to the screen. This game, as you can imagine, wasn't around when there was widescreen. So it really, really, really disagrees with widescreen. Yeah. I cannot click on the window. This is what we get. Okay. Uh, is there a pause button? Unpause the game, yeah, right. So, in this game, this is your UI. It no longer is on the right side, like in Caesar. You can build various things. It's only text things, like in Caesar. There is no icons. First thing we need to build is a palace. This is our minimap on the left side. Everything is on the left, basically. While traditionally you would have it on the right side. Which is kind of confusing, but we'll get used to it eventually. Uh, let's take a look at the map. So, on the map itself, there are things to consider in terms of terrain and where you build. There are the fl these flat plains, which means that farmers will be able to plant their crops and grow them there. But there can also be flooding, so it could destroy part of the city. There is this huge fertile band in the river here, which makes it a very good place to start building your city. Uh, right about here. Uh, you can see that there are natives on the map and the natives are actually your people. Like the amount of natives on the map will reflect how many people you can actually have because they will leave the jobs of being African native and go and move into your city to become a lower strata, which means traders, farmers, things like that. And then you need to build up nobles which move to your city from outside the map. Now, the very first thing we'll need to build is a palace. So let's build a palace. I need to find a suitable location for it. It's also going to have a storehouse. Already this um, isn't great. Okay, let's just build a palace in here. It's a fairly good open area, which we can build around it. Looks like this is actually a like, higher level or something might be bad to build things on that. I think it's okay to build it here. Oh yeah, this game. Uh, important thing. Roads in this game are actually just cosmetic. There are no walkers uh, that would stick to roads as in other city builders. Just a big bummer. And we have a storage area. We have some bricks, vegetables, wheat and barley. These are food sources. That's what we start with, and our palace. Uh, we'll get our noble family to actually move in and build a palace, I think. Or the first native that comes around will become the royals. <laughs> That's how it works. Now, there are various resources around the map, like pomegranates can be used for uh, uh, food source for people if they don't have farming yet. More weirdly, there is no money. Oh, yeah, yeah. You basically use bricks for the, most, uh, so for the more advanced stuff. But yeah, you can basically build anything you want, as long as you just have the willpower to continue playing this game and have the resources to do so. So this guy is gonna construct the palace. And I should actually start planning out the city immediately. I still like to use roads, even though they are not necessary. The stockpile is in the middle of the road, and that's how it is, because of reasons. It's beyond my control, I think. So let's build a road around our palace. I need to actually wait and see if it's correct, because the construction site is kinda jank. Oh yeah, we also have, like, I will talk about other aspects as we go. For now, it's very simple, just let him build the palace. This camera thing is just inversed. I think I could switch it in the settings, but uh, I don't like the settings. <laughs> They're causing the game to be very unfriendly before. Okay, takes a while.
I'll need a couple of nobles. I think I build it wrong. The uh, road, most likely. So this is gonna be the extent of the palace. It's actually gonna have all these tiles, I think. Because you can't build on roads. So it's gonna be there, but I really need to see the outline first. I don't think we are in a huge rush. Let's so we'll just take our time. There we go. Okay. Pause the game. Now we can see the outline. So let's pick up a road. Build it around the palace. As I said, the roads are purely like cosmetic, but I like them because then you could keep stuff organized, and otherwise you are just gonna have a huge mess. So it's uh, it's what it is. Let's build an obel estate or two. Initially, let's take this road, stretch it more. Stretch this road a little more. Now we need to focus on the lower strata. We have flooding right now, so it's perfect opportunity for us to build some uh, farmers. Uh, how many farmers you can have is actually reflected by the amount of nobles you have. So you can see there is a limit, I think. Currently we cannot have any farmers, but it's because uh, our palace is not inhabited yet. Early 3D wasn't a uh, real improvement. Oh yes, I totally agree. Like. <laughs> I'm not gonna find an opposing argument here. There are not very many things I could say that would reflect favorably upon things like this. Because you would be playing a devil's advocate. Like even modernity, I think like good uh, isometric 2D games are much better than 3D for city builders and such. I don't think I can think of a very good city builder in 3D, unless you think like city skylines, but I don't enjoy those too much. The modern cities are just not as interesting. Uh, okay, there are reeds here, so we will build on them. Because it does not matter, there are a lot of reeds, but I want to keep it like eight uh, farmers or something like that. And then we should do paths. Paths are like dirt roads, basically. Let's make sure, keep that, and then um, we'll need to connect this up, but we should do it with a regular road up until it reaches the district of the farmers. And then on top of the farmers, you actually want some shopkeepers that are gonna produce goods. And uh, the farmers and also the other people, nobles and uh, royalty is gonna come to buy these goods. So we should actually, yeah, I um, will need to build like four common workshops or uh, shopkeepers. And then we'll go and manually switch them to actually produce different goods. I think we should start with something pretty simple. So baskets and mats. And then we can do pottery as well. I'm gonna start with one. Okay, let's unpause the game. Give it a minute until people move in here. Okay, there we go. We have our pharaoh, and he is just going around. It's really inconsequential what he does, he's just a thing. Later on, they will participate in ruling in court, I think, but other than that, nothing really consequential. We can have up to eight farmers right now. And that will increase as we get the nobles. So we should prepare for that and add even more farmers. But keep in mind, we don't want to destroy all of these reeds. Because they are a resource. So 
something like this. It's gonna be a mess, but keeping things organized at least in a way is very important for me personally. There's a nobleman's townhouse and noble will move in, but it's gonna take him a little while. Now, we will also place a first luxury shop. Start making sandals. Actually, do two, I think, for sandals. They will also use reeds, I think. So, that's the base of our city. You can see that somebody already created a farmhouse. Now, the shopkeepers and such. People need to become farmers first in order to become um, other professions. So this guy is inevitably gonna just construct something else and not farm. Which kinda sucks. But there's not much we can do about that, I don't think. Thinking about that, maybe somebody is just moving in. Not too sure, actually. Haven't played this in a long time. Townhouses are still vacant. My orders, if this goes up right here, I don't think that right. Now these guys might be swept uh, by flood, but you really do want to build fairly close by to the shoreline anyway. It's just uh, a constant thing in the Nile. Just not much you can do about that, I don't think. And we need to keep tabs on the happiness of our. Uh, people. You can see that they have their uh, happiness here and they will reflect all services and things so health, care, religion, law, uh, leisure, security, f funeral, food and then uh, goods. Goods are very important because they will start demanding them very quickly and it takes a while for them to pile up. So this guy, the pottery workshop, he's gonna continuously go and grab some clay. His ch uh, child and wife are gonna help with that as well. And he's gonna produce goods and then they're gonna be on display in front of the shop. And then nobles or other people who actually can afford them will go and buy them. But no real money is being transferred, it's just people will go and grab it. It's like a freaking communism uh, thing. So. Oh, uh, yeah. Pending crops connects me to Osiris and the before time. Before you can see that they are starting to do some fields. Currently they just do it villa nilly though. We don't have a tax collector yet, which would be a guy that would measure their farms for them and say how much they have to pay us. So currently it's just up to them what they give us from the crop, which kinda sucks. But we just cannot have an educated worker yet, I don't think. We will have one, but not yet. Just start small. If we overwhelm the workers, it's gonna be horrible. Now, uh, brick makers are important. You want to have a lot of them. And we need to figure out where exactly would we like to place a bunch. I think I'd like uh, at least two to start with here. You can see we have the farmers and it got increased uh, by the fact that nobles are on the way. Lack of money just makes it feel like a sandbox toy. Yeah, it does. It does. And not a, not a very good one of that. Just need to give them some time for them to move up and become shopkeepers and stuff. Uh, 
and this is probably not the most efficient way to play at all, I don't think. But with my limited experience in the game, uh, this is what I understand, like how you are supposed to play it. So there might be some mistakes coming up, we'll see. So you have some pottery for sale, uh, for sale, yeah. Got another farmer and another one. No shopkeepers yet. Okay, now there we go. Finally, finally. But it's probably because the farmers are becoming other professions, so it's dangerous. It could diminish our yield of the crop. So that's why we don't want to expand insanely fast. So it would actually actively be bad for us. Okay, we will have to build up a brickyard. I will want to build one there. There is a lot to be said for a life of life, even if you only make it possible for others. Nobody knows for sure. Good, good. Some nobles are coming to buy the pottery. They don't currently have many other things to build or buy. But we will keep expanding. This one's gonna become pottery as well. This guy's making sandals. I will need another luxury good fairly soon because the nobles are very picky. So they will just uh, pa if they get only one resource. And they will keep making sculptures because they are also made from which is plentiful around here and yeah you can see the goods are already raising in demand like crazy so that's why we need to have enough of that many many farmhouses that's good what is our count saying 13 out of 16 okay yeah they will be becoming other professions so some fluctuation is gonna be Happening. They are using this pomegranate tree because we don't really have bread currently. Game is saving. I'm going to build up a brick layer. You need so many things, but for now this must suffice for the basics. I will build up two more farmhouses. Let's get some more common goods going. I can do linen, but it's probably gonna be far away. Virus. I think linen is somewhere else. Oh, they can manage, I'm sure. Okay, and we had a thrashing. Yeah, we have the harvest, so now they are thrashing. It's gonna be some food for us, which is good. You'll need to build up another set of luxury shopkeepers. This guy's gonna make furniture. This one as well. Need another... Oh yeah, we want a couple of servants. Let's get two houses for servants. Let's get another noble. We could do with an um, entertainer, I think. Uh, does he cost bricks? No. And we should build him somewhere around here. 
to say, I haven't had my friends complain much recently. Okay, so how are we doing? Looks like we made some bricks, or is it our initial stockpile? Yeah, it's our initial stockpile. And the brick makers, uh, brick makers are gonna make some bricks for us. But again, we'll need a granary, we'll need a baker, and then we can focus on the educated workforce, which is very important to have. Build up a baker there, and then we will want a granary. I completely forgot where Granada is. It's here. Looks like we could have it in here. Like another common shop. I don't care how pampered you act. I don't think you're parasites at all. Let's do more baskets. Let's take a look at the goods being uh, offered. It looks like it's all being taken immediately, which makes sense. But they are finally starting to produce some things for us. Entertainer is running. Bricks. Okay, the brick layer should do his job. We could actually use another one. And at least a couple more brick makers. Which means also a couple more farmers. Extra luxuries. Let's do cosmetics and cosmetics. There is some furniture, some sandals and things, so nobles should be grabbing things now. Also the common people, the farmers also want common goods, so we just need to have a lot. And the bricks have been used, we have a baker now, even though we don't really have food. We have like 6 it's not a lot. So the servants are they? Uh, yeah, they they have been hired to do some things. That's good. Granary is quite expensive. That's why the bricks are taking some time. Make a couple more. And it's the season of flooding, so farmers are not working yet, which is fine. <clears throat> what about the noble? He is on the way. These people really hate the lack of goods, but it's gonna get better, as there is more on stock. Moving to brickworks. We will be placing another servant. And I would even like a couple more shops, sure. So how is the layout looking? Okay. Yeah, we can have a couple shops here. This one is Matt's, right? Oh. 
This one's gonna be mad, so this is gonna be Potter. Get another is big belt. That's good for us. Let's take a look at the farm account. We can have a lot more than we currently have. But there are some free farmhouses. People just don't seem to be wanting to move any yet. So that's why. Starting to see some goods pile up, which is good. But as I said, a lot of it is gonna be taken by the farmers. So getting a surplus of anything is gonna be a pretty tough. Initially. And they actually don't even like having surpluses, so it's kinda counterintuitive how that works, but that's what it is. It's placed on capital of luxuries. So these guys are gonna grab jewelry and jewelry. Gonna have all the variety. Bricks are gonna be the main choke point we have currently. It's gonna take a little while. Get it all going. I don't even remember where the freaking garden was. Here. Let's make him a garden. It's, it's only cosmetic, I think, but still. Have something to fill that gap. Now, yeah, nobles are very unhappy for not having access to as many luxuries as they would like. Especially also because the palace is just gobbling up stuff. You can actually see how many things they have in here. So these are common goods. And then this, these are luxuries. And they do have some, but they really dislike not having enough common goods. So they would expect more. Okay, graduates. We need to get a school going soon. I just don't know if we have enough bricks for it. Yeah, it's poultry month. Oh. Of bricks. Saving the game. First thing we need to do is build a priest. make some yeah let's make a couple of common shops it's gonna do linen and linen I think two brick brick layers are probably fine. So require 25 bricks, which we almost have enough, I think. And how old is our pharaoh? Can we tell? Not really. Yeah, I remember those days. Great days. 
These guys are digging for a client. Now, is it planting yet? Yeah, okay. So they're gonna be making fields. Unfortunately, still the problem persists where we don't really have a tax collector, so the yield is gonna be um, abysmal. I'm gonna make this into a road. Can we see how many villagers there are? Yeah, 75. So we did already take up a sizable chunk of the natives into our uh, city. Which that might become a problem eventually. Because people are a resource, basically. They are building that, so let's build up a school. I also should really make, uh, what is it, planter? No. It's called something else. Gardener. It costs 10 bricks, but nobles want it. So I think we'll build one out here. Grab a couple more common shops. Gonna do even more pottery, I think. And they will start to complain about other things soon. So for now, it's just food and goods. But that's gonna become a larger issue eventually. Priest, you will educate students. And this is our limit of educated workers we can have. We have three graduates as it is, and yeah, if we want to get more, we'll need to educate students from the nobles to get uh, educated workers, which we can then have. We have a limit of four. It's reflected by the prestige, and prestige is gained by building monuments and things. So, if you want more at some point, that's gonna cost us. So this guy's gonna educate people, but we need to construct a school. Which is gonna take a little while, but they are bringing the bricks. So it should happen. Some of these brick makers are not having a good life. Because they are not being supplied properly. Which makes sense, since the city is fledgling. Let's grab a couple more. Let's grab a couple more farmers over here. They don't need to be concentrated in one area and it's actually better to have them spread out. The only bad thing to consider is we also need to make sure they have access to services as well as uh, shops. Which just should still be fine, hopefully. We'll need a second baker around here. So they are building the school. They've built the plant, the nursery for the trees. Nobles are gonna like that. Which the good situation has stabilized. Looks like we finally get managed to get enough. To keep them happy. Do we have protesters yet? Oh no. Hey Dark here. Welcome, thanks for the raid. I was suddenly thinking we are playing Caesar. <laughs> but no, cannot have nice things. So it looks like the priest is operational and he's gonna get some students. I wish it was Caesar, yeah. You are not alone thinking that. As I said, you cannot have nice things. Hey Kaladin. This is better than Caesar in 
nearly every way. No, it's not. It's worse than Caesar in uh, nearly every way. <laughs> and if you think differently, you are in a minority here. <laughs> Definitely a better punishment game, that's for sure. <laughs> oh crap, the Walker. Walkers are great. It's one of the things that makes Caesar good. It's your opinion. You can have it, but it's wrong and misguided. Uh, okay. Let's take a look at the bricks. <laughs> yeah. Kerry could also go on a tangent to explain everything, but I just don't have the energy. Maybe Kerry can explain. Uh, we've already talked about it before why this is not a great game. Okay, we have a school. Uh, let's grab another priest. Or actually, no, uh, let's grab a scribe first. Before we give people something like healthcare, we'll need to give them taxes. The only thing is, where are we gonna have him? I think nearby the workshops is a pretty solid place, and he's gonna assess taxes. Thank you, apologize for Roman LARPing. <laughs> So we'll have that, <clears throat> and then we'll need to figure out what to do with healthcare and stuff. Let's take a look at people's needs. Looks like they don't have that many needs just yet. Some of them are sick. Okay. Acknowledged. I need to figure out what's blocking this construction site. It's those two squares. Three of them are inaccessible, right? Let's build him there then. This guy's gonna do healthcare. For now. And we'll need an apothecary. Let's place it there. What is coming against the better larp similar there? It's not better, Kaladin, just. <laughs> As I said, that's just completely misguided. I understand you might want to trigger people by saying that, but the joke is old, man. <laughs> it's just... I'd rather play Wicked 2 than play Children of the Nile. Wicked 2 is also a good game. I never played it, but I've heard some good things about it. I think the UI can be pretty hostile. You are not joking. Huh. Do you think that? I find it very strange, but you can have your own opinion, that's fine. I still strongly disagree with it, but it doesn't mean that you cannot have it. Let's get a stockpile here. Remove this one. Very rich inundation, okay. I love this game. <laughs> Okay, we didn't have any graduates yet. I also think Jake played it for a bit. I just don't know. I don't think he liked it much. Maybe somebody can provide some background information on it. It's just that Sandbox games bore me to that. Yeah. He liked it enough to consider playing it a long play, but it did he. You made him play it, yeah. I mean, he had it as a long play, right? But then it was like one episode and he just went, nah. <laughs> this is a campaign. Uh, yeah, this is the first mission of it on easy. I never got past it. This never won a long play vote? Okay. Thanks for the correction, man. It's a patron game, right? Yeah, yeah. Makes sense. 
I still think he didn't like it much though, <laughs> if I remember correctly. I saw just a little bit of it since I didn't really enjoy watching it much. But I think Jake agrees. Then Xenonauts came, okay. Yeah, Xenonauts uh, can steamroll other things in long plays quite a bit. Okay, how is our Brex stockpile looking? Just very poor. 40th birthday. Oh, uh, that's not good. I've been here a year. <laughs> he already will die. Okay. Let's build him a crappy little master button. Where are we gonna build that? I think up here. Uh, the best thing is gonna be that it's gonna take a while for the bricklayers to reach it, but I kind of want it to be out of place, uh, out of sight, out of mind. So let's do that and grab a additional brick layer. And it looks like people are not protesting yet, which I consider a success. So we have the scribe. She does assist access. We should employ a priest soon. Yeah. With the healthcare guy. Still lacking the goods around here. There are some pottery, very few linen. Things, baskets, mats. We could actually expand upon the shopkeepers, I think. I haven't played Caesar 2 and Caesar 1. I've played a bit of a campaign, but the goals are pretty uninteresting. Okay. Yeah, I've never actually beaten a single map in this game. I just, uh, I will lose interest faster than the map can really progress, I think. I might be wrong. I think I played the one where it's tighter on space, but it might be one of the other initial ones. I just don't remember. Let's get more mats. And some more baskets. Okay, so <clears throat> there was a harvest. We did manage to get some food to the bakers, which is good. Now we need this healthcare to be functional, which he is coming there, I think. Gonna take him a little while. Yep. Priest is there. No graduation yet. Now what about the Mastaba? People have brought some bricks. Make a couple more brick makers. Expand this road network a little bit. What about goods? I think in general it's not terrible. What are the luxuries? Yeah, look at that. This stone has actually expanded. Uh, what about our population? We diminished the villagers a little bit again, but we still have three farmhouses. Just people don't want to really move in. And mass. Oh, this is Max Farms. Is this okay? Right? Yeah, I'm not uh, remembering that correctly. Let's build up some more nobles then. Oh, that is a protester already. What does he want? Healthcare. Well, that is an apothecary now, so you can pick up whatever you want. Uh, 
We need to build a shrine, I think. And disputes, not yet. What about upgrades? I'd like to grab some upgrades, it's just... Uh, the bricks are not great yet. So it's planting again, and this time our tax collector should be doing his job correctly. Can we check out our... Most fields are counted, excellent fertility. Okay. We might need another tax collector eventually, but it's uh, gonna be a long-term thing because you'll need some prestige first, and the mastaba is gonna be pretty crap. Let's take a look at the stocks. Adequate cosmetics, many cosmetics, many furniture, adequate furniture, many sculptures, many sandals, many sculptures, many sandals. So luxuries seem to be alright. Which means that nobles should have a good time. But also the yeah, the basic goods. Linen is still struggling apparently. We just need so much common stuff. It's insane. Uh, let's build up another place for the common workshops around here somewhere. Which I'd like to squeeze them here maybe. I was never really serious about Mosby, you know. Let's get baskets and mats again. And then we'll do some extra where is it? I'm a shopkeeper. Let's grab a couple in here. These guys are gonna be linen. So temple is being done. Let's switch him to provide all services. Any graduates? Not yet. I don't think. Can we see? Two graduates available to become educated workers. Okay. Let's switch him to provide all services done. Keep up your good work. So, uh, if the shrine doesn't have a god, it's gonna provide a minor buff to everyone, I think, which is like this. That is insane amount of gods in this game. There is no way I'm building this many shrines. So let's just keep it simple. And if people start to complain about something very specific, you might have to dedicate some shrines. But for now, let's just neglect it and see what happens. Grab another noble. I think I'm gonna keep building them over here. Another save. Hmm. Just build one. <clears throat> it's fine. They are complaining about Osiris. I might have to dedicate this. have another educated worker I 
Probably just a priest to keep things running. I'm gonna build up another shrine. I do actually want like two to be able to dedicate them to things. Now what about the Mastaba? Is it built? Yes. Anyone can be bad at no, only royals or pharaoh. So that's gonna be for him because he's 40 years old, so just not sure if he's gonna die any moment. Better to have something ready. And our prestige is pretty bad, which I would like to build up the palace, I think, but our food is non existent, pretty much. So it's pretty bad. Now that was thrashing. Yeah. Hopefully, gonna get a good chunk of that. What about the fields? Some fields missed. I'd even want another tax collector, actually. Might be too greedy, though. Hmm, let's build him. This shrine. Anyone complaining? Osiris. Bears are still a little bit of a problem, but that should stabilize eventually once we get more and more goods. Linen is actually tough to produce in bigger quantities apparently. Once I see some people complain about other gods, I'm gonna dedicate the shrine. Still Osiris. You have an Osiris shrine, so just bugger off and pray. Takes a while for them to actually you know, register that, I think. Need some more common goods. Can do even more pottery around here. Try to grab a couple of extra farmers on the side. Another noble would be good, but this place is not flat enough. Just build him up there. Make a couple of luxuries. Furniture, sandals, perfume. I don't think we have perfume yet. Might have missed that. And a common guy for linen. What about the bricks? It's not amazing. Nothing is in the granary, all of it is in the bakers. What god is he complaining about? Osiris. Let's build up something pretty cheap. Start with that. Okay, I'm just gonna go from top to bottom, or actually, no. Let's get happy because this is the farmer god. It's actually pretty important to have that, I think. And then Horus as... A patron of the nobles, I think. What about the villager population? It's decreasing. But we should still be fine. 
We really need more uh, more food. So let's hope that we can get a surplus like this. I'm considering another noble, but it's probably not gonna happen. Mm, it might. Get some common goods. It's gonna be linen and mats. Have tried paper yet? Uh, I know that you can make it. Oh, it's no big deal. Papyrus maker is somewhere in here. It costs a bunch of bricks. I don't remember what is it used for. All three administrators more efficient? Okay, good. Thanks for that. I didn't remember the function of it. I think you also need it for some campaign stuff, like the map things. Well, yes, the brickmakers are struggling, but I just don't have enough food. I don't feel like I can confidently expand that. Just always feels like I'm not having any food stock piled up, which is horrible. That's just how it is, I guess. I have two bakers. They have all the stocks in them to provide bread as payment for the employees, as it is in this game. Let's grab a couple of papyrus makers. And a couple of brick makers. Which your income tab to see why your income is insufficient. They need 247 per year and we are getting 924. Brickers are eating 567. In theory we should have enough, but it just doesn't feel like we have enough. We've only been here for a couple of years, so... It's gonna get better eventually, it's just... Uh, I feel like any changes that you do just take years to come into effect, so currently it's what it is. Just focus on the goods. They'd like more luxuries. Your prestige is rising. Prestige, but it didn't increase my cap yet. Might still happen. We'll see. I'm gonna grab a couple of luxury workshops. For the more obscure stuff. How are we doing on linen? Feeling and feeling and need a couple more shrines. What could you use another apothecary actual? Up here, or on the right side, or rather. But we'll need another priest for that. Oh, yeah, now we can have another one. <clears throat> okay. I'll put a carry. Not the save. There's some pretty uneven terrain here. Okay, let's build this guy like this. Are we struggling on any other common goods? Could get some more mats and baskets, I guess. For the basics. I 
And it's gonna constantly diminish the farmer population by people moving up the strata. Okay, did we build up all the farmhouses available? Looks like it, we should actually expand upon that a bit. Build a couple on the sides. Any protesters? Not really. Okay, we've built up the uh, improvement. Build a garden as well. The entertainer is very unhappy. Just can't. Yeah, it's probably because he has so many things to do. Might need another one. And if that one moves out, then so be it. But it's only him struggling. I think it's because their whole family is standing to the nobles. They don't have any time to do anything else. Certain government workers help nobles upgrade their houses, like the gardener. Ah, uh, you mean this? No, sir. I know. Uh, believe it or not, it's not the first time I'm playing this game, but... Uh, I never was fond of it. I do know its mechanics. Oh, we should do Anubis. Mat or Ta. Oh, there's so many guards. Hathor, I think. Just make that. And I think might, we might do with another servant. I really don't want to build up too many of them because they uh, sometimes just idle around a lot. Looks like we might use another one though. It's got like two. And the priest should help. Where did I build the other priest? Priest provides all services, provides all services. Okay, he is already settled. It's gonna help out to keep all the shrines going. What about our nobles? Sometimes uh, are complaining about goods. It's only because they didn't really pick them up yet, I think. So you should be fine. Adequate linen, adequate pottery, max pottery. No chillin, no perfume. Yeah, these luxuries are gonna be made soon. Now we finally see enough linen. Cover the needs, at least somewhat. Fields. All fields are counted, that's what you want to see. No papyrus is ready. But they will be making it. I think we are still constantly using all our bricks. Let's grab more. Uh, I also really do need a stockpile for it. Let's get a common shop and a luxury shop. It's gonna be sculpture, this is gonna be... Pottery, I think. Adequate. It's all adequate, but... It's good to have that. I don't really have statues. Uh, or Stella, so you're gonna have to build something pretty simple. I wanted something for prestige, but can't really get monuments yet. Just build something in the square. It's bothering me that it's not filled in.
build a massive bird feeder and monuments. I think I want to build up a um, large mastaba for the pharaoh. Mastabas for nobles help with prestige. Yeah, I want to dump some bricks into that. It's just I wasn't able to really get enough bricks yet. So I, I feel like the brick makers are a huge strain on your economy uh, for the goods and food a lot of the time. So I'm reluctant to really build a whole bunch of them. But I know it's needed. It's what's holding us back. Let's get another linen guy. Let's get some more mats. Let's get some luxury shops. Might need more shrines. Let's get another one here. Truth and it's like the priests are keeping tabs on everything. That's good. No current demand for healthcare. I'm gonna build up another thing. Even though, yeah, the bricks are not really great. Might as well expand this one as well. That was pretty bad. Where is it? I'm considering another baker, actually. So we have one there, we have one there. So another one here would be good. Do not have people walk too far. Grab another luxury guy. This one's gonna do furniture. And our entertainers are not covering it correctly. Because they just, uh, there is a high demand for it, I guess. What about the villager population? There are the one villagers left. Yeah, it's not a lot. What do you want, Horus? That is a Horus shrine. Is it closed? Yes. Yeah, we might need another priest eventually, but be able to cover everything. It's not necessary. Need a couple more shrines here. Ra. Isis. This one is gonna be past. Gonna do a regular Mastaba. And a small one or two for the nobles. How to save? Might need a couple extra brick layers. Let's 
like you do and come in a shop. Looks like we could do it more mats. I think we are quickly approaching a point where we all run out of villagers. It's gonna suck. Common verse. She should be able to pick some up. Let's do more baskets. <coughs> Have you improved the palace? They are building it. Okay. Worship of Ra. I've dedicated a shrine to him. It's just difficult for the priests to keep everything running. We're gonna have to get another priest soon if we get the prestige for him. I also will build up another papyrus maker, I think. Gonna do two. I'm thinking about another noble. I think we need six townhouses evolved. Horus, that is a Horus shrine, so yeah, okay. Just gonna have to keep everything running. There is not that much pottery in there. Go to do another common shop. Just gonna start grabbing some potter. This guy just isn't getting enough things. Hopefully, gonna get solved. Ball is almost done. Speed it up a little. Currently the bricks are being used up pretty quick and so we can churn out some more. I feel like I have obscene amount of brick makers, it just takes ages for them to make a significant stockpile. Yeah, Ra is gonna be fine, this Isis and Ra. Help. I have to say, I haven't heard my friends complain much recently. Switch this guy to make some mats and baskets. So nobles want the basics as well, and they don't really like to walk all the way here to get it.
Both about the villager population, it's 18. Vault is done. It's planting season again. I'd also like to build up additional granada, just make sure we can actually stockpile whatever we can. But it is expensive. And also chunky. Uh, let's build another granada here. Let's grab a couple of farmers. And some common shops. Hello, Drinkton. A non Caesar <laughs> builder. Exciting, is it? Kaladin strongly believes it's much better than Caesar. <laughs> he is alone. <laughs> Variety is the spice of life, it is. That's why I felt like playing something else for once. Uh, not that we play Caesar all the time, but you know. Not caring for it. <laughs> uh, I actually do know the game a bit, and I don't like the things that differentiate it from the other city builders mostly. So you know, it's what it is. But it's not like the worst game ever. It's just I haven't played it in ages. And in the past, what actually happened to me most of the time was I got just bored with it and stopped playing. Just moved off, uh, moved on with my life. He said, in medical care, you'll need another apothecary. Might actually consider get, uh, getting a hospital fairly soon. Hmm. Gonna do a servant. So I never really uh, reached any later point in the campaign here, because each map can take uh, absolute ages to complete. Fium. It's not the worst game in the world. High price for a non Caesar game from Mark. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> oh. I mean, it can always be worse. But also much better, in my opinion, at least. Let's get a mortuary. We will need another shrine. I'm gonna build one here. Dedicate it to someone. Do we have Anubis one yet? I don't think we do. Let's get an Anubis shrine. What about the stocks of the common goods? They still complain even though there is like a whole bunch everywhere. They just need so much. And they want it close as well. So that's the issue, yeah. I'm gonna have to get more. Mats, baskets, and Your is rising. okay, we ha can have another educated worker, which is gonna be a priest for sure. Where is that priest? He's gonna dwell here somewhere. Actually, here. Gonna need him to be close to the other things we have here. That. I think that the throats just look so hideous. 
I'm gonna just use the regular ones everywhere. Saving the game. Still some complaints. You have a rash shrine. Good. That should also solve itself better soon. Uh, was that a harvest already? Yeah, it looks like it. You did manage to get a whole bunch of food stuck piled up. That's good. So people rely on that. Be paid. Let's build a granary. Did we build a Mastaba yet? No, we are building it, just taking a long time. Let's grab a couple more brickmakers then. I'm sure we can support it. Oh, that's both at it, right? Yeah. Let's get mats and baskets done. Any of the luxuries running out? Perfume. Many perfumes here. It just seems like they should have access to basically anything. They won't. It's interesting that this game has you building the less fancy mustabas while the temples are like much lighter and fancier. Yeah, whitewashed and all, and pillars, things like that. Just how it works. I'm not saying it's accurate or good. That's how it works. This guy is gonna provide all services. Games always struggle with that, so it's hardly unique. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And that's why I'm not holding it too much against the game. Because it is very common to have problems with realism. Of course, there is a thin line between realism and fun. So in some circumstances, I can totally understand some things that are done. But you know, it's still... Let's get nobles in this one. Your prestige is rising. What do I want to say? Yeah. Uh, I mean, the most realistic game ever might not be the most fun one. In a sense. Now, uh, who do we want next? I just think another priest, basically, because we just need so many services. Let's get this man here, and then we'll build up another shrine. Cannot have it there. Can have it here. It's gonna be for Tha. I just need so many, I need more. I wanted to keep the 3 by 3s for something else. Let's get this for map. And they will always complain about the one god we don't have. Just, that's how it's gonna work. What's the season? It's planting, right? Yeah. Okay, how are the taxes looking like? No fields are counted yet. It's gonna change them. Hopefully. We should have two collectors doing that. 
some fields are counted. Yeah, they will continue doing that. What about the palace? It's building up the fountain. Oh, we can have eight educated workers now. I think I might want another, sh uh, just like third scribe. It's gonna assist taxes and then papyrus maker. Might want at least one more. To make sure we can have enough papyrus. I need to really like, make sure we don't turn out the villagers though, because that's totally gonna happen soon. I think some of the palace, uh, some of the townhouses have evolved. Yeah, nice townhouse. Uh, soon they might actually start complaining about law. So we should build a court. Menagerie. Let's build that up. Strange how everything under is just dirt. Would have looked much better with grass. <laughs> That's what it is. You'd think they at least plant grass in the garden, yeah. <laughs> no. Cannot have nice things. So it's already harvest. We didn't count all the fields this year, but we'll get another bureaucrat for next year, so hopefully it's gonna help. And we will, yeah, we do at least keep a reasonable job at uh, providing people with enough food and having surpluses in the granary. Soon, if there is a failed harvest, we could survive a year. But I would feel better if we have another baker. I might have, yeah, I should have built another granary. Let's get a granary here. And some shops, I guess. Can we get some luxuries? One. Baker economy, yeah. It's providing some stocks for food as well, which is useful. There are multiple threshing fields. So accommodating all that food is gonna be a little bit difficult. Horus. We do have a shrine for Horus, I think. It's also one of the first I built Horus. Because it's the patron of the nobles. Uh, I feel like I've been working on this same piece forever. Okay, Marchare was built just in time. Because it did serve some people last year. Linen. I'm thinking if we should expand this area. Grab two common, two luxuries. Looks like we accommodated the stocks pretty well. It's good to see. Our palace is maximum size. Now, what would they want to evolve even further? It's one of our quests is get six luxury palaces or something. Two edicts. We could proclaim a state holiday, but people are not pissed, so. 
Smero group. Interface. Scenario information. Oh yeah, we need 60 prestige as well. And we need large estates. Take a look at the world map. So this is our city. Eastern desert exploration. Yeah, let's explore the desert. This is peddler. They buy jewelry and sculptures and sell us incense and spices. Do it. These guys buy perfume and sell us. The things you already produce. Explore this desert. There's a quarry. But I don't think we can justify getting that yet. Don't have the infrastructure. Uh, what we'll need to do is build up a merchant center. And exchange. Okay, yeah, let's build up this thing here. Exchange. We explored the things. Okay, let's build this here. One of our scribes is gonna have to work all jobs. And I say it's always so frustrating when it just suddenly stops. I'm always worried it crashed, but it didn't. Villagers, two villagers left. It's pretty bad. Are you still here, Kaladin? I have a question. I think I know the answer for it, but I don't like it. Couldn't worship a Horus? That is a Horus shrine, it may be a little bit too far away. Or something. Okay, we might need cargo drop off point. Yeah, it's the merchant style, sure. And for the mines, we can have that somewhere else. Some of our guys are gonna trade. It's gonna help the nobles to be happier. Some luxuries. How are we doing on monument construction? We have another Mastaba. This is gonna be a Royals. There are a couple of protesters. Horus doesn't have bears. It's the entertainers again, and furnishers. <clears throat> Let's get another entertainer. And I guess we can build up the monument constructors. It's gonna have to be somewhere around here. It's gonna be... And then we'll need an overseer as well. She's gonna suck. I don't have slots for more educated workers, so I'm gonna have to wait until prestige rises. Should hopefully happen pretty soon. This one is done. It's gonna be for nobles. World enemy fort. They buy sandals and cosmetics and sell us cedar furniture and incense. Mm. 
Mm, why not? This one is inconsequential. It's an exploration mission. Let's do that. Mining outpost to put yield us emeralds and copper. But it has upkeep. Uh, I don't really want that, I don't think. What they really need is start quarrying some limestone. And that's just the regular limestone, there are two kinds, I think. And that is a quarry on the map for something. Basalt or something. Basalt quarry. Carved by sculptures into statues for nobles. Yeah, so we can start pouring some basalt eventually. Is there no fine limestone? Just look like it. Kinda sucks. Might have to get it from somewhere else. Your prestige is rising. Okay, we can get an overseer. And he is going to do... Basalt statues. We'll be getting a stone carver. And we can build up some statues when we have that. I'm not sure if... Yeah, we might have to set up a new cargo drop-off point. And a side. Okay. Another Mastaba, should do nobles. Looks like they will want more to be able to accommodate all the noble families. So we will. The fifth birthday for our pharaoh. He's gonna probably die soon. But that is a large must of waiting for him. So he should be fine. I would like another Karenare. Just to make sure we can stockpile all that extra food we are making. This one might actually be shifted a little bit. Patron of Scribes. I'm not sure if I have a shrine to him yet, probably not. Still problems with entertainers, apparently. I think we might have to build up another one. And I'm on Patron of Peasants.
is a lot to be said for a life of luxury, even if you only make it possible for others. Fine by me. Okay, world view. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, we can get some fine limestone from here. We can explore with some more envoys. It's gonna cost us food, but that's fine. I don't really want to trade any of this. Furs for furniture. Let's do that actually. And we will build up another shopkeeper. So these guys are buying cosmetics. These guys, furniture. Not enough priests, clearly. If we increase the prestige, you should grab another one. To be able to serve everything. How many graduates do we have? Quite a few. So, did this guy quarry anything yet? He's overseeing extraction. It's gonna take them a while. Maybe we could start building up something. I know we to check all my. What about the Mastaba? Are they being built? It's gonna get done eventually. There was another thrashing cycle. It's good. You'll need the food to support the Empire actions. Okay, the estates are not really a big deal to get. It's gonna be the 60 prestige we need. Uh, can we see how much we have? Prestige 31. Tombs, palace, yeah, right. It's kind of tempting to try and build a pyramid, but pyramids take absolute ages. The best thing you could do is just build a bunch of large mastabas around here. But we'll try to get a pyramid going, I think. Just have to set up a quarry, so let's wait until we get the food into the city. Let's save. I will build up another baker, I think. It's like some of these people are not having good access. Have to get a couple of shops as well. It's good to see. Waiting for material, small statues. This guy's moving up into the quarry again. We'll see if he manages to get anything. Looks like they did dig something up. Carrying small statue, right. So they are gonna carry it. Yeah, and they need an overseer. So it's gonna happen. I need so many educated workers at this point. But it's fine, we'll keep building up the Mastabas at least, maybe that's gonna provide us 
Welt einer. Hier gibt's no no no. Let's grab another large one. Go into the world. We did explore this. They would sell us copper cosmetics and copper sculptures for jeweler. It's not terrible. I'd like that. Perfume and cells, turquoise. Mm. No, that's not really important. Basalt quarries for statues. Tura is fine limestone. We will have to open it up, so let's do it. And then let's quarry some of this regular sandstone as well. So that's Dura and Apidos. Feral spirit has crossed to Osiris. Okay. He has a Mustabarada. Dura. And. Limestone quarter? Is that a limestone quarter on the map? I didn't think so. No barge. Yeah, 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 yeah. I will build them up. Bubonic plague. It's not very good. Let's build the barge landings here. And we'll also grab a hospital for the important people. Looks like they are carrying the coffin. A new pharaoh has been appointed. Oh, uh, any farmers left? No, no villagers. It's gonna make it difficult for us to expand even further if we need to later. I will get that, just a moment. Actually, they'll need to get some drop of points. No, we'll see. Local barge needed. Uh, it means shipyard. Where is the shipyard? Shipwright. Can have it there. Did we get the statue? Overseer needed materials unavailable. So they are just dropping. No, he might be going for it. I think they should carry the statue back eventually. Yeah, there are like three sledges prepared, carrying small statue, sneak people on it. Might actually want a couple of extra laborers if we can support that. It's gonna impact the amount of farmers we have probably, but let's grab two more. Ok. 
Okay, that is a barge. The merchant ships. New ship right is on the way. There are the Mastabas. They are built, being built. Just takes, a, takes, takes some time. It's fine. The other prestige. Your prestige is rising. Forty two prestige. Events are <coughs> minus six. I think we'll want a temple. <clears throat> Just gonna have to figure out where to fit it, which is a problem. It is absolutely massive. Let's have it here. It's gonna be too Horus. People are constantly bitching about Horus. Get a couple of goods. You know that I love you. I want nothing but the best for you. Overseeing your side. Statue construction, that's, uh, yeah, now he's gonna do it. And did we get an stone? Limestone quarry and Tura. No, I don't think we have that yet. This guy might have to construct a ship. Take a look at the empire. Okay, maybe next year. They are building the temple. We can have another guy. It's gonna be a scribe that's gonna do all the things, I guess. Or a priest. Also, we'll need an overseer. Mm. Let's get an overseer. Overseer near a site. This guy's gonna do the same thing. Like the hospital is running, a bunch of priests in there. I have to say, I haven't heard my friends complain much recently. Ta. Hmm. I don't think I have the shrine. How does this work? I don't remember. Because he's not making anything. I don't think he's making any ships. I wouldn't mind a life of luxury myself, but making it possible for others is satisfying too. We have this Horus waiting for a new statue. Yeah. They should get it eventually. Some people are protesting. It's probably the freaking entertainers again. Or else. Yeah. Complain about bread. I'm gonna get another baker now. Oh, there you go. There are some blocks. 
Might want a couple extra laborers. And a shop, I suppose. What we'll need to do now is build a pyramid. I think it's okay to build a small or medium one. It's absolutely massive. Oh. I mean, we can build it in the desert. Yeah, okay, let's build it. But we need to make absolutely sure we have enough laborers stuff it and then get another guy that's gonna be there is a guy that's like statue cutter or stone cutter and stone carver let's get at least four more see how we manage with the population Some fine limestone. I know you've built up the mastabas, that's good. This is gonna be for the royals. They're actually pharaoh. Because this one is already taken. Another pharaoh. And the nobles have all gotten their mastabas, that's good. And I have a nice little necropolis there. Could actually use another priest, but amount of educated workers is not great. <coughs> Stuff to get everything. I'd actually like to build up a couple more granaries just to make sure we can actually store the harvest. Do we want to have plaza? We could have plaza. I think it looks hideous though. There are some real changes made, and soon mm. I'll, I'll. It's not terrible, I guess. Well, I don't want to think about what I'll do. I suppose some people might think so. It's not even. It's the worst. Look at the world map. I'm gonna send an envoy. Let's open up this one. It's gonna be more luxuries. Which nobles should be happy about having all sorts of different things. Now what about construction? 
it hasn't even started yet, which means that yeah, they might actually like, come and do that now. We'll see. Seems fine. We should have some stocks of stone now. Yeah, just need people to actually move it to the pyramid itself. Well, so you should have built a small one, I think. But, oh well. Let's take a look at the world. Hmm. They could give us cedar. For food. But that's not very good. Maybe get a mine. This would uh, diminish our prestige though. To get the gold. I think it's better to just get this instead. It's gonna be a strain on us. Uh, economy though. Let's build up a couple more farmers if we can have them. I doubt it, but who knows. Maybe somehow they're gonna multiply. Are they gonna build it? They're still just bringing it. Hmm. Since the construction hasn't really started yet. I'm tempted to just build a small one instead. It's still huge. Let's start with a very small pyramid, I guess. Yeah, it's just like to see if we can even make it. Might need to eat, an, to eat another overseer. Oh, can I have two workers now? Good. Let's get a priest and a scribe, I guess. See what they do. They are just bringing stone from the landing sites, but. I need them to actually build the pyramid itself. for some reason. What about this thing? Waiting for laborers. That's never gonna happen. Just remove it. Maybe now they're gonna focus on it. <coughs> 22 stone. 33. Just need them to use it. Seems to be a problem. I'm gonna grab another shrine. Or two. So the other shrines are on the other side of the city. It's just you would need so many freaking shrines everywhere, especially if your city is large or if you need to 
develop other areas. Just insane how religion works in this game. It's not very fun. Be prudent whenever you open your mouth. Mighty men should say, beautiful are the words that fly from your lips. It's funny that you think I would know that. Are we building it? No. Are we gonna build it? You will... Pyramid construction... Yeah. The other one can do whatever. I mean, at least bricks are fine. If we really wanted, we could just build up the master bus, but I really need to learn again how to construct monuments properly. One of the guys is set to monument construction, but he doesn't really have any workers, even though I have... Oh, that's why. I don't have laborers. Yeah, makes sense. Well, that kind of sucks. I... I cannot really get more people, I don't think. That's why. That's why we are having problems. I don't suppose there is a way... There should really be a way to get people from the Empire map. If you are gonna make it so small. Well, the only way we can do that is we will have to build up the Master Boston. There is no way for me to build pyramids. So I'm never gonna have enough labor. Just build a bunch of Master Boss around here, at least we can win this scenario. It's not gonna be nice, but it doesn't really matter. As long as we win it. It's a very little point hustling all this freaking limestone then, but well already here might as well keep that I should have a bunch of bricks to sink into construction have we built the scribe yes for some reason we have unoccupied dwelling for someone Let's take a look. Scribes, priests, overseers. Yeah, one of the overseers is not working. Probably got mad. Or he's dead. Yeah. Okay. We don't have a statue for this temple. But people are still visiting it, so it's fine. Is our prestige currently? 53, yeah, uh, we're almost done.
the number one. Okay, we should have enough graduates to staff everything, yeah. It's fine. So our place retires as well. The events are displaying down here, usual. Guy's just mad. It's all right. I just want to build another apothecary. I think it's not like we will be able to use it much since we will finish soon. But let's build it and anything else. Well, the shrines are right here. It's just too, it's difficult for the priests to make their way here. Apparently. Just need so many priests. Gonna grab another one here eventually. Should actually disable this freaking school. It's holding back too many priests and we have a bunch of graduates. But I don't really want to do that right now. Keep it running. Does express these. It's gonna get bumped up soon. Maybe another uh, must have. Two freaking priests are servicing this. Ah, uh, it's such a pain. It's like the population might have grown slightly. But only very, very slightly. Let's take a look at uh, 57 prestige. We'll need more. This one is almost done. We should have enough bricks. It's just about carrying them over. We do have a bunch of guys just sitting around. Hmm. Prestige is rising. Okay. 12 years elapsed time, 615 population, perfect city satisfaction. Even though we had some problems. Uh, 62 prestige. Okay. So, was it. Is 
Is it another scenario? False kings who masquerade as pharaohs, pale yeah. shadows of your mortal self, continue to squabble in the south. You must dispel these shades in the brilliant glory of the true god king. The rich loam of the fertile delta will nourish your grand capital and solidify your rule of the north. Raise obelisks and stele to proclaim your magnificence. Spread the truth upriver to the would be kings. Okay, okay, okay. I think that's enough, uh, children on the Nile for me for today. If you really want to see me play more, uh, we could arrange that at some point. I don't like completely hate the game, it's just not great. So, you're gonna have to let me know how you feel about it, and that's gonna be it for uh, from me for today. So let's take a look if we can raid someone. Kaladin and start playing some Vegetary. Let's raid Kaladin.